isn't Fortnite great? Or, well, it was, still is, kinda? Look, it's complicated. It's no secret by now that Fortnite is absolutely massive. It completely changed the landscape of online gaming when it crash landed in 2017. Since then, it has set the bar and became the new standard for many aspects of the gaming world. Now, before we dive into it, consider subscribing if you liked the video and want to see more content like this. Now, how exactly did Fortnite change the online multiplayer landscape back when it launched in 2017? Well, it showed that free-to-play isn't always a dirty word. That you can actually make a game that's free-to-play, yet still fully featured and enjoyable without ever paying a dime. It also showed how to monetize a free-to-play game without feeling too greedy or creating a pay-to-win economy. On a smaller scale, it also completely took over and owned the battle royale genre. Now, it definitely didn't create the genre, as games like H1Z1 and PUBG had been on the scene for a while, but it completely dominated the genre when it hit. It added an interesting building system that shook things up and made firefights a bit more interesting. And this was sort of a happy accident, as the original Fortnite concept, called Save the World, had building and resource management as a core pillar of gameplay. It just so happened that repurposing this for a battle royale worked wonders to separate Fortnite from the competition. But it also had an ace up its sleeve that made sure Fortnite was the biggest and most accessible battle royale out there. Polish. Something that both H1Z1 and PUBG sorely lacked. Epic took a page out of the Blizzard playbook here and released a much more refined and polished take on the genre. You could actually play Fortnite on a modest gaming rig or console without having massive frame rate issues or constant crashing. But none of that is what this video is actually about. What I want to talk about today is what I think is the biggest thing that Fortnite brought with it that had a huge impact on the entire gaming industry. It's Fortnite's greatest strength, but I think it has also became its greatest weakness. I'm talking about the live nature of the game. Fortnite is constantly changing and growing. In the beginning, it had almost constant weekly updates without fail, always adding something new or changing the way we play and approach the game. This has grown rapidly over the past few years, to where we are now totally accustomed to the idea of a game that constantly shifts and changes over time. From new game mechanics, to the entire game world itself being altered drastically, and even going as far as swapping game engines and effectively launching a level of updates that's usually reserved for game sequels. All completely free, I might add. This has thrown a massive wrench in how online gaming is approached in the industry. If your game isn't growing and adapting over time, always giving players something new and interesting to do and play with, then players quickly grow tired and move on to the next game. Many developers have embraced this new way of creating and have launched some absolutely amazing games using this strategy to varying degrees. Apex Legends, for example, has managed to carve out a nice segment for itself and has grown a player base off the back of the Titanfall series. In games like Destiny that were initially on a more traditional content release strategy of one major expansion per year, akin to most modern MMOs, has shifted to more of a constantly evolving model of seasons bookended each year by large expansions that lead into that year's flow of content. My point here is that if you're making an online multiplayer game in 2023, then you're almost definitely looking at how to keep players engaged by always releasing new content and evolving your game. Gone are the days of releasing a game and dropping a few maps and maybe one or two expansions and then moving on to the next project. Sure, it could be argued that the industry was heading in this direction regardless, but Fortnite was definitely the catalyst that really ignited this push toward an ever-growing, evergreen future. And I actually really enjoy it for a lot of games. I love loot and I absolutely love destroying bad guys, so always having something new to do and fresh goals to chase is wonderful. Games like the upcoming Diablo 4 embody this perfectly. But this idea of an ever-changing game is also what has made me fall out of love with Fortnite a bit. See, as the forerunner on this concept of an adapting and ever-growing world, Epic Games has continued to push forward in an absolute breakneck pace. Changing and adding things so often, it's honestly hard to keep up with what's going on in the game at any given moment. The Fortnite you can play today is a totally different beast than the Fortnite from a few years ago, and I think it's lost a bit of its magic along the way. I've seen many other players pining about how great those first few seasons were, so I know I'm not alone here. It's usually chalked up to the game being fresh and players being new, and that's definitely a part of it, and it's something that can't really be helped. But what I really think is missing is that sense of wonder and discovery and the intense feeling of making it to that last circle. It had these moments that just had a certain weight to them that the current Fortnite lacks. 
I think a lot of that comes down to how few options we had in the game at the time. Finding a really rare weapon drop was super exciting, and you just knew you were about to absolutely wreck the lobby. Let's go, baby! Don't you Shut fucking fuck. ever you fuck me, with me, boy! Back then, crossing the map and outrunning the storm felt like a big undertaking, something you actively had to keep an eye on and plan around. But these days, you just kind of drop wherever, the movement in the game allows you to get around so fast that the storm doesn't really pose much of a threat, and the map feels less exploratory as well, even though it has way more locations that are way more interesting. So how do you fix this? I don't think there's any chance of Epic dialing the game back to fit its old ways, and I don't think they have to. Obviously the game is still doing really well, and all of these changes have made the game super accessible and fun for just about anyone to hop into. It's added this sense of controlled chaos, where you can just hop in anytime and have a blast. I think that a new game mode, an alternative approach that exists alongside the current modes, is the way to go. I like to call it Fortnite Hardcore, but I'm sure Epic can come up with something much more creative than that. I envision this as sort of Fortnite's answer to the ever-approaching wave of extraction-based games. More and more each month, it's seeming like extraction games will be the next big thing in online gaming. The thrill of getting a piece of loot and having to make it out safely is exhilarating, and in a lot of ways gives that same rush of excitement, anxiety, and adrenaline that you got back when you made it to the final circle for the first time, frantically looking around for those last few players and hoping you make it out alive. Fortnite is in a perfect position to capitalize on this new genre. Anyone who has tried their save the world game mode knows that Fortnite has way more guns than we see in the battle royale mode, and they all have unique stats almost akin to an RPG or a loot game. I think this would translate really well to this new type of extraction game mode. They already have the map, just lower the player count, slow things down a bit, and make this a wild extraction shooter where raiding a location and making it out alive truly feels like a big deal. Now of course, there are lots of ways for Epic to approach this type of game mode. Do they try and make it a bit more casual? Make it where it has less of that Tarkov style persistent nature? And maybe instead view it as almost an online PvP roguelite? This to me seems like it would play much more like a higher stakes version of the current Fortnite Battle Royale mode we have now. Your motivation is more about earning cosmetics and battle pass progress, and less about having that persistent world where you keep what you make it out with and build your arsenal and account over time. Or do they make it much more like what we currently see in extraction games, where we get to keep what we loot in-game, and we work towards amassing an amazing arsenal of high-end loot to wage war with fellow players, albeit with that Fortnite level of polish and style of course. Also, having one of these modes with building included could be a really unique spin on the extraction formula overall. I think all this really comes down to how much resources Epic would want to put into this new endeavor, and how much they want to put behind shifting Fortnite in this direction. To me it seems like a no-brainer. Fortnite is in the perfect spot to adapt to this type of game mode, and worst case scenario is Epic gets yet another unique game mode to add to the Fortnite war chest of activities for players to do. Best case is they catch this new trend of games at the right time just as it did initially with the battle royale genre, and they put themselves in a position to lead the charge on the next big trend in online multiplayer gaming. Now here's a slightly different idea that can lead to the game also including some really unique and fun game modes. With Epic going all in on creators and giving players the ability to create almost anything with the release of the new Unreal Engine for Fortnite, it seems like a lot of their focus will be on this going forward. And I can't blame them. The biggest games in the world are games like Roblox and Minecraft that give players the ability to create their own game world however they see fit. Epic seems to be going after this on a grand scale. And if the recent state of Unreal Showcase is any indication, it looks like it could become something really special going forward. But this also presents gamers the opportunity to create new game modes themselves. If these new tools really are as robust as Epic has said they are, it might not be too long before some very creative players are out there making all kinds of extraction style game modes inside of Fortnite. So what do you think? Do you want to see Epic try to recapture some of that feeling that we got back in the early days of Fortnite? Or do you prefer the game as it is now? And if you do want to feel that magic again, what do you think they could do to get that back? Is my idea the right way to go? Or maybe you have a better idea of what they could do. Anyways, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. It means a ton. Consider liking and hitting that subscribe button for more videos as I post. Later, taters. Later.